The next question up, folks, do ghosts exist? Beats the heck out of me, but this television show, ladies and gentlemen, has uncovered shocking proof that people who believe in ghosts exist. Sound impossible? Then come with me now on an eerie journey to the far side of human gullibility. It was a dark and stormy night, sort of. I was meeting a very unusual man at a haunted mansion in the Hollywood Hills. All I knew was his name was Richard Sennett and that he taught an unusual class in ghost hunting. You see, I was supposed to be meeting the class for a field trip and I... Ah! Oh, great. I'm glad you could come tonight. The house is jumping with spirits. Oh, good. Here are your dowsing rods. Oh, coat hangers. You going searching for the ghost of Joan Crawford or... We take this very seriously. <laughs> That night, Richard and his students were determined to make contact with legendary spirits and uncover eerie secrets about the haunted house. At first, we were unsuccessful. No wonder, we were using a homemade Ouija board, and Richard's line of questioning didn't help. Will the Braves win the hand? Next, we tried the wire coat hangers, uh, I mean, the divining rods. So what's the uh, strangest thing you've come across? The black chicken. The, the black chicken? A 15-foot-tall chicken. 15 feet? Pure black that was seen walking in a parking lot outside of a saloon. We got a hit. Jackpot. We finally made contact with the ghost of a woman who had been murdered in the house 50 years before. Those are being moved by some psychic force. While Richard drew funny pictures, we asked the ghost some questions. Is your murderer in the room? Just kidding. Just kidding with you. Okay, all right. What ghosts are actually haunting this house? There are several hauntings. A maid wearing a black uniform and a white apron, and even a lady mounted on a horse has been seen riding through the place. Was she naked? But it wasn't until we entered the mansion's extra spooky back bedroom that we made our most startling contact. Hit. 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 You have a head over there? Hit. Hit. There's another here. The activity is centered in this bed area. Mm -hmm. This is where we have the best chance Hit. of getting some kind of spirit voices on tape. Mm -hmm. Okay, everyone be quiet as I leave this for the spirits. Ghosts only talk when they're alone, supposedly, so we left the room for ten minutes. Have you ever actually heard a, a ghost go, Whoa? No, ghosts don't do that. <laughs> the ten minutes were up. We checked the tape. We may have a ghost sound on us. If it is, it'll be raspy, low. Catch a falling star and close it in your pocket. So, do you think I'll come back as a ghost? It's very possible that you may, Greg, return as a ghost. I found an amazing correlation. People with overinflated egos, people who demand to be in the spotlight, for some reason, they come back as ghosts. 